Well, good evening, everyone, from a stormy BTV Weather Center. I'm Jeff Fowler with your midweek forecast. Showers and thunderstorms have been pesky throughout the region all week long and will slowly abate here over the next few days. But we still do have a chance for some storms on Thursday, much more isolated. Friday, a backdoor front moves through, and that could touch off a few more. And right now, Saturday looks okay for the most part. Of course, it is the 4th of July, and if you are planning any outdoor activities, there could be some showers early in the day. It'll be a bit on the cooler side compared to where we've been, but not terrible. Much warmer weather does return early next week. As we welcome the month of July, we typically look forward to highs in the low 80s, which is where we should be by Sunday for sure. Those temps typically creep up to the mid 80s by the end of the month, and we do average around 3 inches of rain. We also lose 45 minutes of daylight by the end of July, so these next few days are truly the longest of the year. Unfortunately, sunshine has been at a premium lately as an upper level low has been stuck over our region. The problem with these systems during the summer months is that they move very slowly and as steering currents, the jet stream, are up in Canada. So when you get stuck under one of these systems, you basically have to wait it out and that's what we are doing. That jet stream will buckle a bit on Friday. That will send down a backdoor cold front which will kick this low away. But it does come at a cost as we deal with some easterly breezes here on Saturday, keeping us on the cool side and a bit murky, especially towards the beaches. Speaking of the beaches, if you are headed over there the next few days, it's not a washout. There could be an isolated storm tomorrow, not a guarantee, but do keep an eye out. And then it's cooler both on Friday and Saturday with a chance of some morning rain on Saturday, but things should clear out by afternoon. For us, it's cloudy tonight as these showers slowly ring themselves out. It'll be muggy, lows around 62. I think tomorrow is sunnier overall, but again, watch out for the chance of a storm. Better chance on Friday as that front moves through. Not a terrible day on the 4th. You may want to sleep in a bit to wait for that sunshine to slowly build. Sunday, I think storms stay to our north. Then it becomes hazy, hot, and humid here by early next week with scattered thunderstorms. Typical summary weather by that time. Have a wonderful 4th of July weekend, everyone.